Hey guys, Dan the Man here. Today we have the Silicon Power NVMe SSD M2 slot. This is a pretty fast SSD. Uh, it says supports NVMe 1.3, it's a 2 terabyte, and it's a pretty good uh, SSD for the price. This thing's gonna cost you about $100. You get 2 terabyte of fast SSD, which uh, was rated around like 3,500 megabytes read and write or so. So it's really fast for games, for anything you wanna do, even video editing, this thing is really fast. So I'm gonna open this thing and then I'm gonna put it into that system right there. It's kinda of hard to actually open this kind of a packaging to do it off camera. Okay, I don't wanna hurt the package, that's why. Oh, it's like it's got a plastic protector under it. So it's a lot easier now. So this thing came out. Let's open it. Pops out just like that. The back of the board, there's not much in there. And it says, warranty void if removed right there. Not sure if you can see that well. Yeah. And it doesn't have a heat sink on it. It's pretty small, it's pretty nice. I assume you could use your own heat sink just to lower the temperatures. I don't know what the temperatures on this thing are like. So I'm gonna put it in there and we're gonna look at it together. So I have actually taken out the graphics card here so I can easily install it there. So there are two NVMe slots. One is already occupied and has a heat sink on it, which the main stuff are in there. And then this is the secondary drive that I'm gonna install there. And I do not have a heat sink for it, but I don't think that's gonna be any problem or anything. You should have a tiny little scooter uh, screw there so that you can put this in place securely so that it doesn't wiggle around or move much. That's it. It's that simple. So you just need to look for an NVMe place on your motherboard and then you'll be good to go. That's all there is you need to do. So we're going to launch this thing to see how this functions later in the computer. I hope you guys can see this well. So once you actually launch your uh, PC or switch it on, just press Windows and X, go to Disk Management. Probably you would not see the drive coming up automatically, so you need to do it there. It's the last one right here. It says Basic uh, Disk 2, Basic whatever. So you just click there, simple new volume, and then uh, you can name it whatever you want, or let's say, let's name it let's say K, or let's name it S since stands for silicon, power, format the drive, finish it, and boom, there you go. So it was that easy to bring the drive out. So now we're gonna test this thing to see how fast this is. As Is it as fast as what they claim it to be? Let's just see that, you know? Now we're going to actually test the speed of this thing. I've already tested it, so you just go there, Pick the drive S that we named it S earlier. And we're going to press a test and see all the results. So you can see the final results in here. The results are pretty accurate. Uh, previously, when I ran the benchmark, it was actually higher than what you can see in here. So it says like the high speed we have for read is 3 gigabytes and 341 megabytes. That is really fast for reading your files. And the other one, uh, which is for writing, is about 3 gigabytes per second. This is insanely fast. I mean, my main drive and that PC right there, it's about a uh, uh, one and a half gigabytes per second. So this is really fast. And you get about, let's check in here together. Where is the thing? Yeah, so you get about one terabyte at 810 gigabytes free on this two terabytes. So about like, I would say about 150 or 60 gigabytes of this thing is already occupied by the drive itself. So that's how much space you're gonna get. I mean, that's the case pretty much uh, with most drives that we know of. So this is really good speed. I mean, uh, this thing, two terabyte of high speed SSD to store your games or files or things like that, or it could be used even for video editing. Why not? Uh, it's uh, insanely fast. So would I recommend this? Yes. I mean, it's worth the price. If you ask me, I have, I'm not even, I have not even been sponsored, you know, 
by the manufacturer of this product. But anyways, thank you for watching. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. See you guys later.